Hello, hello, welcome to me. Ooh, where's all his hair gone? Ah, I am about to go, I'm about to go shopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shopping. You can see from the excitement in my eyes that I'm very, really looking forward to it. Oh dear, had a wash. Wash me balls and me bum and me armpits. Main parts, aren't they? Uh, not in that order though. <laughs> um, so I thought that I'd just do a quick Jason Chats vlog, a very quick one. Just to say thank you to everyone for your support with what I do, you know, all the, I get a lot of lovely messages from people um, telling me how, what I do benefits them. I'm holding my left hand. My right hand's a bit tired after last night. Um, I was arm wrestling a giraffe. So I, or was it a snake? <laughs> I I get a lot of nice messages from people telling me that what I do is useful and helpful and stuff like that. So oh, I'm sweating. So yeah, uh, I do appreciate those messages because it's nice. It's nice to it's nice to get a bit of feedback, you know, a bit of positive feedback. Um, I'm getting my road caster through tomorrow. So it's going to be, uh, hopefully the audio will improve even better than it has been. Um, the one that I really want to improve most is the whisper ones because because it's so low, the volume, when I increase the volume, there's that background hiss that I don't like, really. Uh, I don't, can't imagine anyone particularly likes it. I try to reduce it as much as possible, but with the Rodecaster, it's like a recording studio, really, is you record, you put the microphone directly into it and you record into the actual roadcaster um, equipment itself. So no longer will I be recording into an app on the iPad, which means it should be, I should, I should, 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 should all over yourself. I should be able to control the volume and the background sound and all that stuff during, well, before and during recording. So I can change it ha as it's needed. So the end result, hopefully, will need less editing. That's the plan. Well, that is the plan. So really, once I've got that, most of the equipment is now done. So I've got the microphone, I've got the equipment, you know, the editing, all that sort of equipment. Then I've got the roadcaster, I've got the camera. I'm not using the camera here, I am using my phone. But I've put off making YouTube videos so far. Um... Partly because, okay, I wanted them to be really good. Not um, quality-wise or content, because I think the content is going to be the same as the podcast. So it should be, hopefully, good quality. Content. But I wanted it to be good quality video. Like, edited well. Um you know, have it so that you've got the light shining on my glasses like you have here. <sighs> so, I don't know. Uh, I've put it off. I've had them, the camera for over a month now. And 
I, I play with it every now and then and I just need to just just get on with it basically I need to just to get on with it not build it up to such a big thing um, I've watched hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube on how to make the best videos even though I did spend a long time making YouTube videos in the past, that is, was my main thing that I did, but they weren't good quality and I still had an audience. So I'm thinking maybe even if they're not, they're not like perfect or the best quality, they'll still be a hundred times better than the previous ones I used to do. So I've got quite a forgiving audience. You know, it's always been about the content rather than the quality of the recording. Even with podcasts, you know, I've, it's only recently that I have improved the quality of the sound. The last couple of years. Before that, some of the quality, sound quality was awful. But people still listen to them. So there, I don't know why. So now I've got... A larger audience with the podcasts um, I've got I, I like to think that is part of the part of the reason of that is because of the the better quality sound you know I like you know I like to think that uh, the investments and in trying to make it a better service is the reason I'm getting you know more people listening it might not be it might it might just be because it might be another reason I don't know but that's not going to stop me trying to get better quality so that's my aim better quality videos better quality audios and hopefully now my cough's gone which is good uh, I'll be able to, <laughs> now I'm talking about it, I'm going to start coughing. <clears throat> the, I had a bit of a chest infection uh, last week, for a couple of weeks actually. So I, hopefully I'm going to record the video and the podcast at the same time. That is pretty much the plan. And I hope that it works out. And I kind of come to the point where I'm realizing that it's better to upload videos that aren't very good than to just wait until everything's perfect because that time will never come. Nothing will ever be perfect. The only way really that would be is if I had a professional recording person here with me with the equipment, filming me and editing it and doing it all, all of that stuff. But as long as I have to do it myself, which most people do have to do it themselves, I'm talking about making videos and stuff. Um, I, I need to just get on with it, which is what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. So thank you everyone for all your lovely messages. I do appreciate it. And I will be, God, look how gray I am. I actually had someone recently who's uh, contacted me when I did a Jason, <laughs> my last Jason Chats on YouTube, and they said, um, wow, uh, I believe I've been listening to you for a year, didn't know what you looked like. And I've not heard from them since. I, I think I scared them off. Anyway, take care of yourselves, I better go. Lots of love. Mwah. Andre sends his love as well, because obviously Andre is a big part of what I do. Uh, he is the mascot of my online work. S yep, that's it. So take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.